Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Islamic customs and etiquette are some things which have a very deep significance because various societies, they are known, they are introduced by these customs, these behaviors, these attitudes, and these festivities or functions which, uh, which a nation adopts. Now, the question arises especially in areas in which there are certain activities or certain festivities going on in, in which we borrow from a different culture, whether they should be regarded per se as forbidden or not. So therefore, the, the question that needs to be addressed is that, for example, to be very specific uh, in today's talk, I'll take this example of uh, wedding ceremonies. For example, wedding ceremonies in Asian countries in particular, they are inflicted with a number of functions which are not specific to their own culture. They have borrowed heavily from, from various cultures. We find a number of ceremonies, for example, the Mehindi ceremony, which is a part of the Asian culture mostly in Muslim societies, which has become a part of, the, of these wedding ceremonies. Now, uh, religious scholars object to these ceremonies by saying that they are absolutely un-Islamic because they do not belong to, a, to, to, to the Muslim culture. Now, it needs to be submitted here that a function or a ceremony, if it is taken from a different nation or a different culture, it does not become prohibited per se, unless and until there is some irreligious element attached to it. For example, there could be exorbitance, uh, overspending involved, there could be lewdness, there could be a number of other issues. But simply uh, borrowing a function, a borrowing a festivity, borrowing some cultural act from another nation, and if, even if that nation is not a Muslim nation, is not prohibited at all. Of course, we would recommend that wedding ceremonies should be as simple as possible, as little spending as is possible should be done. However, if someone insists on doing these such ceremonies, like a Mehendi ceremony, for example, then it, they have to maintain a certain decorum and they have to maintain that function within that decorum. And if they are able to do so, one cannot object. Of course, one would, would like that this does not happen, but if people want to do it, then simply negating them or refuting them on the on the basis that since this belongs to this this function belongs to a non-muslim nation we cannot say that it is prohibited it has to have some irreligious some immoral element attached to it in order it to be called or labeled as something as un-islamic so therefore in wedding ceremonies and in ceremonies in which we borrow from various other cultures unless there is something which can be morally or religiously objected to one cannot call them to be prohibited أقول لك هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات